Okay, let's get started. Start with a new project. And I'm going to go into the library content and just search for violin and apply. And I want to get rid of this nasty little fringe, so I'm going to go to filters, keying, matte magic, and in the inspector, I will shrink. Okay, I'm going to name the group source and close it up. Add another group. I'm going to draw a very small rectangle or a square just a, a little mark basically and since this is outlined I don't want the outline I want to fill and in white for the properties let's just align this to the center because it'll keep everything matched up with the image source I'm going to turn that into an emitter and for the shape, I'm going to change this to image, and I'm going to drag the source in. Change this to random fill. I want to change this to 3D. And for right now, we'll just turn the emission longitude down and leave the emission range up at 360. This doesn't need to be depth ordered. I'm going to turn the birth rate down to zero and the initial number up to, well, let's go about 10,000. And turn the life down to about two and a half seconds. For the speed, let's make it kind of medium fast and add some randomness to it and check it out okay that's not too bad now to really turn on the magic we're going to go down here to color mode and we're going to take image color all right Let's add a scale over life. And at the very beginning, I want this to be 100% at least. And at the end, zero. Let's just type this in. All right, now I have to determine how long I want the violin to be there. And I'll go, say, 20 frames. And I'll set an out point for the source. And for the emitter, I'll type an in point. I actually want these to overlap by about a frame, so I'm going to go to frame 19 and shift left bracket and explode this. And then after two and a half seconds of playing, all the particles will have gone down to zero dimension, so they will have disappeared. So I'll type an out point for the emitter because it's done basically. Now I'll collapse the group. Let's just type this in as explosion and I will group these two together by selecting them and command shift G and that becomes our combined animation and Actually, I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit. A few more frames, and for the group, I'll just type O for
burnout point. And then type K to clone this. Then you can turn off the group. And for the clone layer, you go into properties, timing. Click on show to reveal all of this and click reverse. And so now when we play this, it'll be a lot better when it's rendered. Everything comes together. I'll just go ahead and render that real fast. I'm still only getting 12 frames a second. There we go. Now to blow it back up, we can just go ahead and make a clone of this clone. Reverse it. Let's move the playhead to the end of the sequence here. And then shift left bracket. And we explode the violin again. Let our marker play range out here. Render this and play it. Okay, can you say be me down and be me up? There's hundreds of different ways of animating the emitter for different effects. That'll be for your experimentation and exploration. I hope you found this useful, and I'll catch you on the next one.